Hello, welcome to this video. Today we're looking at Microsoft Stream and this is Stream for SharePoint. I'm going to explore the new interactivity feature. So this is where you can add uh, forms into a video. So instead of just passively watching it, students are engaged interactively and in asking questions linked to the video. For those not familiar with Microsoft Stream, my playlist for Microsoft Stream is available in the banner in the top right hand corner and you can access Stream via the nine boxes. So it will appear in the nine boxes and there it is. So we've got stream there. So how can we add interactivity? Well, you'll spot there is now an interactivity option that appears in the top right hand corner just below the share button. We click interactivity. We can add a form or a call out. So we're going to choose add a form and then we're going to go and find a Microsoft Forms. Now we can add multiple forms. So I'm going to grab the link and I'm going to go back to the video and I'm going to paste the link in and I can choose whereabouts it appears within the video. So I can use that to scroll through the video to choose where I want it and where I'm happy with it, I can click add and it's gonna add that. If I wanted to add another form, I can come further down and I can add another form as well. And then if I want, I can just do a little preview of what that's gonna look like. So I've got a preview and that will pop up. So it pops up at that point and then having finished the form, they click continue with video and it carries on back to the video that you've got. So you've got the interactivity there, um, similar to those um, who are familiar with Edpuzzle, then very similar to that sort of thing. So having done that, we've added our, our forms. And as I say, you could add multiple forms. We're ready then to share that. And we've got the option, copy link or embed code. So we could potentially embed that within a VLE, or we could embed that within a SharePoint page if it was maybe for staff, or we can just click share as you would with all Office 365 and you could add the people's names if you wanted to add a collaborator, or you could just do view and uh, enable them to see that. So that's what it looks like. Let's just do that. Let's do share, share, and then we'll go for anyone with a link. So let's click on the cog, uh, anyone with a link, and apply and we're going to copy that link and then we're going to open up a new tab I'm going to paste it in there and let's see what it looks like from a user perspective so i'm going to mute the video because you don't need to hear me and, and we'll just take it back to that point just before the thing so we'll get to there we'll start playing it so you'll see exactly what happens you can see where it's going to appear by the little icon there and as it appears, they get the form, which they can scroll through and answer. Now I find it works best if you use the sections within forms. If you're not familiar with using sections within forms, click on the banner on the top right corner and you can watch my forms playlist. And they can go through and enter their responses. And then it very easily they can click continue to video. So great way of adding interactivity to video. Um, I think it's a really good way of helping students to actively engage in your video content. So if you found the video useful, if you did remember to subscribe to the channel and join me again soon for more EdTech videos. Thanks for watching.